In this video tutorial, I want to show you Texturizer. Texturizer is an online tool for creating text effects. The tool basically loads with a predefined text effect and every time I reload it, it will give me a different text effect. And the cool thing about this is that I can uh, play around with the text effect that it gives me and I can put in my own text and I can play around with the settings like make the text smaller but I will come back to that in a second because the cool thing about texturizer is that it comes with its own presets and it has tons of presets I mean if you click on the load more you'll see that it has animal print text effects uh, army style text effect a comic book style text effect and the list goes on and on and if I click load more it loads more presets and even more presets and so on and what these presets do is that if I click on one of them, so for example, let me choose this aluminum foil text effect. When I click on that, it loads the predefined text effect in the, uh, in the image. So now I have this preset loaded. And what I can do with it is I can change the text and I will just click in John because that's my name and then I can play around with the settings and there are a few settings that I can change so for example if I want to change the font I have a drop down here where I can choose from multiple fonts so Let's see what we have. If I use the up and down keyrows while I'm, um, I'm on the drop down, I can go up and down, and you can see that it changes the text. I think I will choose this slacky font because it looks like the letters are cut out by hand. And then I can change the font size. Again, using the arrow keys, can go larger or smaller. I think 250 is a nice size. And also, I can change the texture size. And this is the texture for the text. So if I go higher, you can see how the texture gets larger. And if I go lower, the texture on the text gets smaller. Usually a texture size of 100 means that it will span the, the size of the resulting image. So 100 is a good point to start. I can then switch off the background. And why is this useful? It's useful because I can use this image as a PNG with a transparent background. And then I can grab this image and place it over other images either in Photoshop or on a website or on Facebook or wherever I need it and let me show you how I do that so if I go to download I can download the PNG image and as you can see it has a transparent background and this looks really nice I think and now going back to texturizer I can switch back the background layer and I can also modify the size of the background and you can see if I do that the background gets larger or smaller depending on what I need again 100 is the basic size so what 100 means because this is in percent it means that uh, the background texture will be its actual size 
and it will span the whole size of the uh, image that we will create. So that is that and another thing that you can do with texturizer because besides the presets what you can also do is you can change the image by using some custom textures and texturizer has a database of textures that you can use so for example let's choose uh, actually let's search for gold and you can see I have a bunch of textures for gold and I can use this texture for text or for the background and if I choose it for the text you can see that it changed my text to a uh, gold foil is that cool or what? I think it's cool and if I want to change the background for example maybe I want some metal on the background let's see how that looks well it changed it it looks pretty good I see I think and again you can change the size of the texture to something lower or higher let me try with 50 I think this looks a bit more realistic and again I can download it and I get the image and I can use this for website banners or for uh, Facebook messages or for logos or for whatever I need even more right under the image that I create I have all these options and so I can immediately share my result on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or LinkedIn Pinterest or whatever so that is that so you can create a lot of effects so for example if I want to change this let's say that I want to change this to something else let me see what I can do so for example let's change the background to a fabric and I have some options here I will choose this for the background and maybe make it a bit smaller I'll go with 50 and then for the text I'll choose this polka dots pattern because that looks rather nice let me change the text and say polka dots and now the text is too large so it doesn't fit the image and we can change that by changing the font size to 150 or even less yeah I think 130 does it and let's see some other font options because I can change this back and forth I think this looks nice so this concludes this video for presenting texturizer I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you create effects with this uh, tool please drop me a comment because you can grab the link from here and you can share it and you will get exactly the same results so you can share this with me in a comment below and I will give you my thoughts on it and also if you have questions don't hesitate to drop me a comment and I'll try to answer